like to cover two quick ideas in this video. The first is that for folks that have placed orders with us during the winter, we are now beginning our spring shipping. We're trying to ship to the warmest states first, now that things have thawed out a little bit, and then we'll move to the colder states. So if you've ordered with us, um, please be patient, but we're starting to chip away at it and your tracking information will come soon. That said, what we're actively doing in the process of packaging these plants is making labels and that kind of thing. And what I wanted to do is talk today about some of the tools and techniques that we work with in our small nursery that we think are ethical and not very expensive. So stick around. I suspect most of us have gone through this of, I have this plant, I'd like to be able to make a label for it that'll last a while. How do I even go about that? And most of you may have tried this, I know I did. Just get a standard Sharpie, a permanent marker, write on something, put it next to the plant, that'll do it. Guaranteed by the end of the first season, the marking is completely gone. It's really frustrating and pretty disappointing, especially if you're trying to track the different plants you're working with. So great for other applications, but definitely not for outdoor. One thing that I might suggest if you don't want to really invest anything, you can get these for 10 cents a piece at a hardware store, or you probably already have a good sturdy carpentry pencil. Nice graphite tip. These work okay. And if you put a really good firm marking, it lasts a while and it's hard to rub off. So this gets the job done. It'll last for a year or so. Now, what I'm using here, if you wanted to invest in something, <laughs> and I'm interested, maybe folks have other ideas, other suggestions. We got these from eBay. I believe it was around $8 a piece. I'll link in the description to these, but basically wooden tongue depressors for herbaceous perennial plants. It's a natural product. I'm sure it's made in a kind of gross way and using up trees and things like that, but they don't have a strong smell. They do break down. These will last for a year or two. So let's say you're trying to uh, set aside a nursery bed where you're tracking cuttings or things you're growing from seed. They work pretty nicely and it's a good semi-permanent or a year or two solution. Now, let's say you wanted uh, a marking that's gonna actually last for a very long time. What we used to use were these AM Leonard nursery pens and these are all over the market. Um, $4 a piece, $3.50 a piece, very chemi. They smell pretty nasty. And I've found with these markers, after a year, they lose, even with the lid closed tightly, strongly dissuade people, discourage you from buying chemical-based nursery markers. They're expensive, they're gross, and they don't seem to last. Two years ago, a friend of mine turn me on to what I think is so far the very best nursery marking tool ever. It's pretty much all I ever want to use at this point. We're not sponsored by these folks, but I really like what they do. It's called Listo. We'll link in the description. It's a simple pen. It's a wax pen and they're, they come in at like a dollar 30 or a dollar 40 a piece. If you order them from their website, I think it's like $45 order. They send, uh, they send them with free shipping. So maybe get in on an order with some friends. And what I love about these is once you use them for a bit uh, and the wax tip has worn out. So if you order these, definitely order a box of the LEDs. These come in at a 10, 20 cents a piece. And so you can use these indefinitely. And what I love about this is any sort of material you write on, it leaves a very good, strong marking. So I write on here. It works when it's cold. It works when it's warm. They don't come off. And here's the thing that I love about this. If the tag I'm working with is wet, so for example, here's one dipped fully in water, it'll still write. Not as well, but if I did that with the standard nursery pen, it wouldn't work at all. If you wipe it a little, it works quite nicely. But try that with 
a standard nursery pen that I've found if you touch water with these chemical based ones it wicks in and it ruins them so if it's moist at all you can't write with a standard nursery pen anyway Listo uh, my friend Buzz from up at Perfect Circle Farm in Vermont taught me about this he's been using them for over 40 years really simple really nice strongly recommended these tags I'm not sure if I absolutely love them, but they work well enough. They last for a few years. I'll link to these as well. A.M. Leonard has them. Um, I think they're $20 for a thousand tags. And then in the long run, if you're trying to mark a tree that's going to last ideally forever in your landscape, I like locust, but you could use oak, any sort of really good dense rot resistant hardwood with a can you can cut these out. I'll link here to a video where I talk about this in greater detail. You can cut these out with a scissor and staple them down with a T50 stapler and use a standard ballpoint pen to emboss into that can. Soda can, beer can, whatever. Uh, these have lasted so far a decade with no fading whatsoever and they come in at nearly no cost. So this is the most permanent solution. These are quite nice, the Listos for a few years and there you go. So those are just some ideas of what has worked for us. Let us know, what have you found that seems like some good solutions? And there you go. Thanks for watching.